All right, so I'm just doing some work on uh, movable panels, and I've uh, already gotten to a place where it's looking uh, pretty hopeful. So um, let me show you where I am right now. Um, so <coughs> I'm just going to, um, while well, I'm in design mode, I'm just going to add um, some knobs, and I'm also going to add a panel. Now, originally I was going to allow this for panels and image panels, um, but that's not going to happen, uh, not because it's not possible, but because image panels wouldn't uh, then be able to go on top of panels for one thing, and another thing is that image panels are often in the back of your uh, layout doing something, or at least on the back of a page. So this is just a regular panel. Um, Let's just make the colors a little bit wackier so we can see it. Um, and let's bring the alpha up a little bit. That's good. Um, so, you know, the exciting thing here is you grab a control and drop it on the panel, and the panel lights up. Now, that light up, I think I'm going to have to do something a bit cooler than this white uh, opaque thing. But if it's not 100% contained in the panel, the thing will show that it's moving off. So it's lighting up when it moves on and uh, then the white goes away when it moves off. So I can move one, two, three things to the panel, let's say, for now. Now remember, this is kind of cool, um, and not everybody knows this, that the panels, um, panels allow for labels and it does this cool effect that I always wanted to have in my layouts, uh, which is this uh, text effect that just keeps going. Um, and now, if I take the panel and I move it, so this is actually moving with the controls on it. That's amazing. Um, and now, when I move it to the other page, also, it's uh, you know switching LED colors and doing all that good stuff that it needs to do. Now, if I move it back, same thing you know what you can't see what's going on behind the scenes which is kind of cool is that when i touch this and hold it so i'm touching and pressing and holding and now i start moving it so as soon as i touch it and press it and hold it it flips up to the top so it's got to go above these pages it floats up and then it has to drop back down so in terms of the implementation it's uh there's a little bit of stuff going on you know it's kind of the magic of software is that uh you're doing, uh, we're doing hundreds of instructions or thousands of instructions a second, and you're only seeing this end result, which is completely fluid. So I guess it's kind of like movie making in that way. Anyway, here's what's broken uh, right now. So the knobs will move on and move off, but what you can do right now is you can take the panel and you can size it down but the knobs don't know, or the panel doesn't know, depending on how you look at it. So these knobs are still with this panel. Now that could be useful, um, but I think that behavior is going to go away because it's got to be really simple how you indicate what's on a panel. I mean, everything's possible, but uh, that's got to be fixed. So that's one thing. Um, another thing that doesn't uh, make... Um, doesn't seem to be a problem, but you can definitely create problems with it or confusion for users, more questions, uh, is I can size this knob and it's still on the panel. And then I can size it again and it's still on the panel because I've sized it out of the panel. So uh, that's bad um, and needs to be more clear. And then the third thing that doesn't work that's a giant thing is um, if I move this guy off the panel, okay, so now he's off the panel. And so is this guy, for that matter. So now when I bring these guys over to this page, um, the panel doesn't know that they're being brought over. So if I drop it here, it is on this page, but it's not on this panel. So now I need to tap out of the panel and do this uh, to grab it and put it on the panel. So, you know, that's a lot of stuff that needs to be worked out, but um, with those few details, the feature will be workable. Of course, the feature will expand from there, and there are other things that need to happen. And two of the main things that I want to happen are copy and make similar. And for those of you who are veteran MIDI designer users, 
um, you know how different those two are and uh, just how interesting it'll be to be able to make a copy of a panel so it's the exact same panel and then make it's the exact same panel existing in different visual places at once and then the uh, the make similar deal is even more interesting because now you can get basically the panel will be a template so you make similar and uh, the issue is going to be how you specify uh, the relationship between the new uh, panel and the old panel as far as let's say MIDI messages that it's going to send um, you know you can imagine something simple like doing them okay they're on different channels that's easy to imagine it's easy to imagine panels having channels could do that um, but I'm still kind of trying to wrap my head around how make similar is going to work so anyway um, that's a little bit about panels and uh, where we're going and it's uh, what is it Friday November 4th 2016 and uh, I'm gonna go and uh, head to a cafe and, and see what happens